How's it going everyone? Jerry here and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black and White 3 Genesis playthrough. In the last episode, we finally got the HM for cut, which means that we get to progress in Pokemon Black and White 3 Genesis. And I am very excited because this is a new area that we have never explored. And who knows, we may actually end up running into a Pokemon that I originally had not planned to add to the team, but may be adding. So if you guys are excited for this episode, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys were to drop a like below. Uh, one thing before I begin, I do want to say thank you to all of you guys that are leaving comments and that are leaving tips and tricks on what to expect in this game. Those comments and the likes you guys are leaving mean the world to me. And I just want to tell you guys that I really do appreciate it. And if anyone leaves a comment, I will take my time to reply to you. So uh, thank you. I really do appreciate that, you guys. It really means a lot to me. All right, anyway, so we are here. Uh, I don't exactly know what route we are in, but I know we're in a new route. And we get the Solosis. That's a cool Pokemon. I wasn't expecting to run into a Solosis, but Solosis isn't a Pokemon that I want to add to the team, so I'm not going to... Not gonna bother trying to catch it. Uh, we do have a super potion here. All right, so we have Zorua fainted and we have Timber fainted. All right, so I'm actually gonna, I want to do some training, so I'm gonna send Drober to the front of the team. But you're paralyzed. All right, so is there any way for me to actually skip out on these trainers and come back later? I don't think that's an option for us, is it? I'm trying to avoid eye contact with that guy there. Because I can come back when my Pokemon are fully healed. Alright, Solosis. See, I love Reuniclus, but... That's not the vibe I want to go with right now. Wait, hang on. Okay, so if I cut here, what do I get access to? Better be a good item. A rare candy! It's an excellent item. I would gladly take that. All right, let's see what this... A Snubble! Now, Snubble is fairy in this game. Very interesting. I am a big Gramble fan. I do remember when Gramble uh, became fairy. I used it quite a bit when I was really into competitive Pokemon. That's going to be a trainer, isn't it? All right, so that's a dead end. So this is the way I want to go. Oh, new city alert. Hi there, what's going on, man? Nimbasa City is a bustling burg. Stay out of trouble now. Will do. Nimbasa City. Alright, guys. So, I feel like this is going to be... Okay, this is fire, bro. What the heck? Um... A mart. What? Yo... Alright, I definitely do want to stock up on Pokeballs, but I think before we buy anything, healing items is what we need to go get. How many marts are there, bro? Reflect, light screen, protect, bulldoze? Thunder wave? Oh, that's 10,000. I was like, bro, I'm about to buy everything. I can't really afford that right now. But, um... Definitely when I get some more cash, I'll come by and I'll see what kind of stuff I, I'm gonna get All right, I don't need any vitamins right now, so I'm good on that. I'll pass on those All right, where is the uh, the Pokemon Center? There's obviously quite a bit to explore here and I do want to get to everything but I think the the thing that I want to do mostly is head over to the area I was just at and battle the trainers there. Just because you never know. We might run into Pokemon that... Or not Pokemon. Trainers that give out a lot of money and um, who would want to battle and I could use for, for some grinding. So I definitely want to stock up on this. And you don't have any revive... That's very odd. Um, and definitely get some paralyzed heals while I'm here. 
And definitely get some antidotes just in case. But that's everything, huh? Have you found any colored shards around? I hear there's a place in Driftvale where you can trade them in for something good. I'll keep that in mind. Trubbish. I caught it in Route 16. It may be trash, but it's my special trash. Aw. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Um, Let's go back up to Route 16, I'm assuming, is where we were. Let's do some training there. All right. So there are quite a few trainers that I can battle here. Let me... What are you holding? The amulet coin. All right. So I'm going to switch you up with here, uh, with Duat here. Um, now, I did see that we had bulldoze in one of the marts. And I think I might pick that up when we have enough cash for it. Leslie. Gothita. I like your sprite. That's a really cool sprite. All right, let's go for the pursuit. Might not knock it out, but no, it's not going to knock it out. It's fine. Two of them will knock it out, though. And that's just what that's just all I need. All right, level 17. Faint attack. Yes. I think pursuit may be weaker, but I'll get rid of Leer just because I have no plans on ever using Leer. And a Clefairy. Yeah, I can't really do much against Clefairy. So I'll swap into Drober because I believe you have Metal Claw. And you are level 18. That's a yikes. Alright, let's see how much this does. Is it enough to knock it out? No. Wow, okay. Thank God you miss. Alright. Metal Claw again. Excellent. Good job, Drober. How much experience does Clefairy give out? 261. Not too shabby. Alright, Leslie was defeated. Alright, any items around here? Yes. Quick Claw. Okay, that's nice. Actually kind of nice. Alright, so you guys are just individual. Oh, there are no double battles in Gen 2, though. Or... Maybe there are. No, there isn't. Okay. So we get a Pete of. Alright, let's go for the Faint Attack. Let's see how much damage we do here with Faint Attack. Wow. Literally nothing. Alright, does Pursuit do more? It does very bad damage. To be fair, we did just get growled at, so... Whoa! Okay, yeah, let's not stay in there. Uh, I'll let, I'll let Drober take care of this. Jeez, that air cutter did quite a bit. Please don't get another critical hit. Thank you. Alright, let's go for the cut. Quick attack. Minimal damage, minimal damage. There we go, knock that bird out. Alright, next up, what do we see? What do we see? Ducklet. Uh sure, I'll let Zoro take care of this. <laughs> Goofy looking Pokemon, bro. I kinda wanna heal. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan here. Uh medicine. See, we just need a good special dark move, and then we'll be set. Water Pulse. Twenty... No, 19 points of damage. I don't know how much this is going to do. Nothing. Oh, Lord. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to swap here. And swap into Duat, I think. That's the play. Just because... Uh, everything else that we have is weak to water. And flying. Uh, let's go for Tackle. <laughs> that is nothing either. 
Duat's very bulk. Oh, not Duat. Duglet's very bulky, huh? I'm just learning. And you also have air cutter. Critical hit. All right. I do forget that air cutter has a high crit chance. All right. Knock out the ducklet. Now, do I have to win the battle to get the more money? That I'm not so sure about. All right. And I know that I skipped the trainer. That's the one I skipped. Truly an oasis. You like to battle? Bring it on. Bring it on. Alright, please don't have anything too scary. Bobby. Drillbur. Alright, that's something for Duat to deal with. Ooh, what if you Pursuit Trap me? Okay. <laughs> I was on the lookout. Mudslap. Does that lower accuracy? Yeah. Still, no shot against Duat. Okay, so Drober goes down. What do we see here? What do we see? Next up, next in line is Blitzel. All right, I do have my Drober for that. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I have Dig. So I can go for Dig. Yeah. All right, this should easily knock you out. Excellent, excellent. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna guess you have Temple. Of course you have Temple. Uh, don't really have much to deal with you, so I guess I'll send out Timber. I was gonna say uh, Duosian, but that's not, oh, level 18, geez, okay. Why so high level? Or is the better question, why am I so underleveled? I mean, they both work, I guess. That does a lot. Jeez. And I don't have anything that does... Um... Priority. Or that has priority. Either way, though. We walk away pretty, pretty okay from this battle. Backpacker Bobby was defeated. <laughs> it no longer feels like an oasis if I lose. I didn't mean to beat you that bad, Bobby. Jeez, relax. All right, so let's head back into Nimbasa. I do have to heal up. And we do have a little exploring to do before we do anything else. Because this is obviously a pretty big city. And talking to people just gets you free items. So, I don't think we're going to accomplish anything here in Mbasa. Um, aside from talking to the NPCs here. But as far as, like, you know, getting a badge or whatever, I don't really see that happening. You hope to see me again. Alright. What's up? How are you? The man at the house rates your Pokemon names. I don't want to give any Pokemon nicknames, sorry. Talking about this guy? The name raider. No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. All right, can't really do much here. It's locked. All right. So what else do we have here? Hello there, friend. I got in trouble for playing in the old park. I'm taking the subway to visit my friend in Aspiratia City. Aspiratia? Aspiratia? One of the two. In the park in town, but ever since the gym leader Elisa left for bigger and better things, the park has fallen into despair. Ooh. But it closed down. So there's a park that people are talking about. <laughs> it's a big town. You don't know where anything is. Alright, so... Was that all the exploring? Are there no more homes that I could go into? Really? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming the park is down here, right? Route 4 ahead. Castelia. Watch out for construction. Joint Avenue. 
Joint Avenue. I sell inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a trifle bitter. Oh, yeah. These are the ones that make your Pokemon less happy when you use them. Any other stuff behind? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Route 4. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> uh, I know exactly where we are. Um... And we don't have a fire type, but I really want to use Chandelure. Dang, do I go for it? This area is special for many reasons. Uh, one, you could find a um, Darumaka. Oh god, I forgot I'm dealing with the bug type. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Darumaka, and you also can encounter a Sand Isle. Those are two excellent Pokemon in this here region. Let's knock out this Waddle first before we do anything. Okay, you live that. You take that pretty- and you have berry. What is it with you and having berries? I am tired of seeing you and Shroomish and the other grass type that I don't really care for. Holding berries. You guys make my life so difficult. <laughs> Literally. And if this is a crit. If this is a crit. Okay, thank you. Give me that experience. Because clearly I need to grind a little more. Sand Isle. And speak of the devil. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do I go for the Chandelure or do I just go for Darumaka? It's tough. Really, really tough here. Or do I just go for one? I don't know, man. I don't know because Gen 5 has so many good Pokemon. I don't know, man. This is hard. Where do I get to encounter the Pokemon? You're a trainer. Alright, let's see what we get. I'm sure we're gonna encounter a Sand Dial. Oh my god. Alright, honestly, you know what guys? I'm actually going to end the episode off here just because I don't know what decision to make. I'll probably leave a comment while I upload this video. And I'll ask you guys if I should go for the Darumaka, if I should go for the Sandow, or do I just catch a Litwick? So I'm going to go and wrap it up here, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys were to drop a like below. Likes are very, very appreciated. And if you guys can also leave a comment suggesting what to use. Do I go for Darumaka? Do I go for Sandow? Do I stick with my plan of catching a Litwick? I don't know. I don't know. But your suggestions are always appreciated. And I appreciate you guys. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jerry. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys here next time.